Lay down. Lay down. And along with Grant Hill and Doris Burke, I'm Brian Anderson, joined by Ali LaForce, our reporter. It'll be the Celtics off the tip. Now smart. And Grant, you look at these rosters. A lot of talent in the backcourt. Oh, a sign of the times, B.A. Agility and skill is in demand, and that is on display tonight. Shot clock at two. And they turn it over. Shot clock violation as the buzzer sounds. Outside Paul. The rebound, Celtics. Tatum drives in, and the shot goes. Boy, you love the aggression. This is where Tatum has improved, converting off the bounce. Horford with a steal. Pass to Brown. Plenty of space. And the shot is good on the assist by Tatum. Jason Tatum. Boy, that one was not easy. Every once in a while, you just make a tough shot. Crowder with it. Aiden's got space. Oh, he parries the 20-footer. Well, true to form in today's NBA, as a big man, DeAndre Ayton has face-up ability, and that's critical. A nice shot by Brown. You know, it takes incredible accuracy to drain it from that deep. So impressive. Pass to Aiden. Over Williams. They get it back. Goes back up. Aiden, no good. Boy, this guy is a good finisher, so he misses a chippy. That's tough to take. Now, here's Williams. He's covered by Aiden. Now here's Brown. Stolen by Bridges. And the Suns pushing it up now. Here's Paul. Second chance effort. Tatum pulls it in. Boy, he'll usually knock it down if he's left that wide open. Just comes up empty. Outside, Brown. Back to Smart. 4-3, and Aiden pulls it down. And just under two and a half minutes elapsed here in the first. The kick out to Paul. Pass to Crowder. The shot that time, not on target. Nice D from Tatum. Well, you think about Jake Crowder's career. He has bounced around to a few teams. But one thing we know, he's always had an impact to affect the game with his defense and with his basketball intellect. Devin Booker. Three Booker, points. good. Now, this guy has such a versatile offensive skill set. Devin Booker is a threat once he steps across the half-court line. Two minutes. Now here's Tatum. Outside, Williams. Austin again missing. And Doris Crowder's defense, a big part of what he can offer a team. Right, because he's strong enough to guard in the post. He's quick enough to guard on the perimeter. Think about it. In 2020 NBA Finals, he was asked to contain LeBron James. That's the kind of confidence coaches have in Crowder's competitive spirit defensively. Pass to Tatum. Crowder with a steal. Back to Bridges. To the inside. Shoots over Tatum. Oh, that doesn't go on the chance to tie. Here he goes. And slammed it home. And a foul. A chance at another point at the line. That's on Mikhail Bridges. What's incredible to me is the first time Jason Tatum stepped between the lines as an NBA player, he had a willingness to take on the responsibility of being a go-to scorer, even in the tough moments. Bridges. And the basket by Bridges. 
Uh, this guy reads situations so well, and he knows how to execute. Outside Tatum. Fires for three. Offensive rebound, Celtics. Outside White. Shot clock at six. Fires from deep. And it's Tatum with the three. Somebody has to go. Got eight point. Turn on, player. Somebody might be at the door. Let me check this motherfucker. You ain't got your key, nigga? No, I Fuck you, bitch. I'm gonna answer shit, ho. The sun's trailing. Bridge is outside. Seven second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Outside Booker. And Booker with the jam. He got up. Well, whether it's a dunk or a jump shot, Booker's wide ranging down. skills make him a consistent scoring threat. Grant for no reason. Let us cry. Outside White. Outside Nobody Williams. And we've reached the end Dude's of the first quarter. Game. It's the Celtics up by four. And for those of you just tuning in, second quarter action is where we are. And for the Celtics here, guys, what jumps out to you stat-wise? The aggressiveness on defense has been infectious. Everyone's come to the party. I love it. Well, I think they combined great intelligence with great effort, and you can see the results. The Celtics with the lead. White with it. Now quiet so far offensively, searching for his first points of the game. And it's Tice missing. Pass to Booker. Launches it. Tries again. And it's finished off by eight as he lays it in. Well, we're talking about a big time rebounder. DeAndre Ayton's timing excellent. Tice. There's Tatum with the three. It's hauled in by the Suns. And Booker, here we go. And he hits it to tie the game. He's got seven. Well, exposing a weakness in the defense. That's just way too easy, guys. Boy, Devin Booker is just such an explosive force on the offensive end. He can take over a game each and every night he steps between the lines. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with Allie LaForce. Hey, Brian, the Phoenix Suns are enjoying a renaissance. Big man DeAndre Ayton said, quote, from starters to the bench players, this team is well balanced and we compete. We challenge each other every day. To be honest, it's the best team I've Devin ever been on Booker. throughout my career. Guys, they are confident. That they are, Allie. Thanks. Boy, when Booker gets locked indoors, he's as deadly as they come in the NBA. Well, the list of guys who've gone for a 70-point eruption is still very short. 20 points per game for almost the entirety of his career. This guy scores with ease. I don't care what defender you send it in. And block. That one goes careening off the glass. And Boston calls time here. Trying anything now to get them out of this slump. Just feels like the basket is looking awfully small to them right now. They're having a hard time they getting just woke anything up. to fall. Ain't gonna check shit. I ain't checking nothing. And the sun is making a change here. That kid ain't trained yet. What's up wrong with you? Boston trailing. Checking me sleep. Fucked up. Here's Pritchard. Well, no scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. Out to the right wing. Right, to right, to right side, go. Tatum. Go. No good. Go. Had a chance to end the run there. Take it away. White for three. And he parries his first look. The defense takes a chance, leaves him open at the heart, you know, and he no capitalized. You have one. And Booker with the chance. How great is it that the body control by Booker is there when he's driving and finishing at the rim? 
McKee with a double team. Outside White. Six to shoot. Remaining in the first half. Pass to Pritchard. The three. Kept alive. And he almost made them regret defending him so loosely. Here's Booker. Good. And that makes him six for nine. A quality game for him so far. And they seem to have a hard time picking good shots in the first quarter. But it's all coming together now for them here. Outside Tatum. And there's the drive. And finished off by Tatum. Well, the incredible explosiveness. No fear from Jason Tatum. Ooh, lights out. To the paint. Here's Crowder. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. Yeah, you never want to let shots at the rim go uncontested. Let's not forget, Jay Crowder is a former second-round draft pick. This guy has made his bones in the NBA by adding toughness to every team he's played on. And Cameron Payne is going to pick up the foul. And that's his first foul of the game. That's his first personal foul. First team foul. 107 left in the first half. They look frustrated right now. Nothing seems to be falling, and it's starting to get to them. Booker can't get it to go. It's one thing to prevent the layup. It's another to do it without fouling. Just terrific defense. Outside, Brown. The shot from the low post is good. Brown's got seven. But this is where the powerful frame and explosive athleticism of Jalen Brown becomes a problem for the opponent. Nicely done. It's stolen by Smart. Seven second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. And here's Tatum. He's got ten. Horford for three. Kick out to Brown. There's the triple. He connects. And now he's four for six in today's game. Well, to me, that's excellent timing from Jalen Brown. He shoots with confidence, knowing his teammates trust him. Pass to Crowder. Boy, they had their chances. Two offensive rebounds, but still coming up empty. And we're halfway through this one. Plenty of basketball left in a game that's been a fairly even one. And here are the Suns now. Outside Payne. Pass to McGee. Here's Shaman. Let's the three fly. Orford pulls it in. Smart outside. Now Tatum. Shoots over Bridges. Clock at six. Horford for three. The kick to Tatum. For the lead. He can't hit that time. And Phoenix the other way now. Outside Payne. Wide open look. Pulled the shot a little left. The bounce goes his way though. This goes to. And the Suns lead by two. You know, guys, that's the selfless attitude of Mikel Bridges, so willing to give it up to an open guy. And here's Brown for three. On target from range. Brown's got 13. You simply must play better defense than that. This guy is too good from distance. Boy, it is really hard not to root for Jalen Brown. This guy is so incredibly smart. He's a champion for social justice. Not a stretch to imagine him as the head of the players' union someday, guys. And honestly, even beyond that, this guy has got tremendous leadership. Since halftime, they've missed three of their first four shots. Still trying to get their legs under them. A chance here to catch up with Allie from the sideline. Thanks, Brian. DeAndre Ayton being the number one pick in 2018, his potential is obvious. With this team on the rise, he's looking to improve.
impose his will on a nightly basis. Aiton said, quote, I know how hard I work and what kind of a player I am. I'm trying to take over every possession, being more dominant every game. Oh, scary thought, Allie. Thanks. And Boston calls time here. And of course, Brown has talked about his love for the strategy in chess. That's what negotiating a CBA is like. <laughs> That's right. Takes a cool head, takes some patience. Every move has to be completely thought through. And you do not want to make a mistake because it can unravel your position. Brown can't hit. One for five has got to be a frustrating start, and they just don't look One sharp game. right now. Can they find their offensive game? And Boston has possession. They trail by three. To the middle. Here's White. And he drops it in from the low post. White's got his second basket of the game. Here's Shamit. Three-pointer off the mark. Now here's Brown. He's got 13. Tice outside. Let's go with a three. They get it back. Pass to White. And here's Brown for three. Phoenix grabs the miss. Right wing. And here's Payne outside. Payne drains Payne. the triple. Payne's got five points now this quarter. He took what the defense was giving him that time. There was nobody on him on the three-point shot. Boy, don't give him the lights out. Here's White. No good. And Phoenix the other way now. Here's Shamit. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. And just as he showed in college, Landry Shamit has a very high basketball IQ. He does, and he makes great decisions with the ball. I mean, he takes care of the ball so well. He always plays under control and commands the offense exceptionally well. And there's a defensive three-second call. Boston ball. At the line for your Celtics. And so he hits the technical free throw. Boy, what a career it has been for Al Horford. A decade and a half in the league. He has been a factor from his rookie year and on. Stolen by Payne. A minute nine left in the third quarter. Boston trailing. Pass to Brown. No good on the shot. Johnson with the defensive effort. And Al Horford, he still shapes a game. Double-digit score his whole career. Well, think back to his collegiate career. Back-to-back -back championships, such a rare accomplishment. And his NBA career has found him a key contributor on some excellent teams. Well, what he lacks in size for a typical center, he makes up for with all that athleticism. Boy, can he elevate. Smart for three. The kick to Tatum. From outside the arc. It's Brown on the wing. Boston, no good that time either. He's looking pretty unsettled at the moment. Doesn't seem like he has a great feel for his shot. Here's McGee. Some solid defense from Williams. Pass to Brown. From deep. And they recover it. Misses there. And we've reached the end of the third. Suns ahead. They're up seven. The fourth quarter has arrived. So good to have you with us. That's going to be over and back. Not watching the line on that one. He completely lost focus since the break, turning the ball over multiple times. And that's after no turnovers in the first half. Now Paul. That one a little long. Every player goes through this. When your shots aren't going down, it can ding your confidence. It's Brown on the wing. Shot. 
It's hauled in by the Suns. Left side, Paul. Pass to Shannon. From the arc. Yes. And it's Paul with the assist that time. And the Suns lead by 10. The always aware Chris Paul, one of the great passers in history. There's another assist. All right, let's get a report from Ali. Hey guys, the head coach for the Celtics had some instruction for his guys during the break. It wasn't feel good pep talk. He wants them to show some fight in the closing moments. He told them if you guys want to salvage any respect from this game, now's the time to do it. Show them we are better than this. Guys, take it away. All right, appreciate it, Ali. He's trying to force his way into a rhythm, but that's not helping the team. Oh, not the defensive effort they need to cut into the lead. Well, good call. You have to at least try to protect the rim. They're just too slow to react. You can't afford to sleepwalk through possessions. What's going on out there? There's Tatum with the three. Knocks down the long chain. You have to be willing to shoulder the offensive burden. I think Jason Tatum is built for it. Paul can't get it to go. Fast break. Here come the Celtics. Outside, Brown. Gets stolen by Johnson. Pass to Shaman. Outside, Paul. There's the three. Williams grabs the board. It's amazing the success they've had with him shooting this way. Zero for the night. Smart for three. Phoenix grabs the miss. They held a 12-point lead earlier. And Robert Williams picks up the foul. That's his first foul. The Celtics making a switch here. First team foul. Left side Johnson. Launches a three. Here's Aiton. And Aiton with the stuff. Aiton uses his length to his advantage. No doubt on the dunk. Outside White. Kicks it out to Smart. Six on the shot clock. Boston, no good that time either. Right side, Paul. Outside, Johnson. Puts up a three. Paul can't get it to go. For the Celtics, this one not looking good. Here's Smart. And he makes it. How about Marcus Smart? Keeps his balance even with the defense in his grill. That is really nicely done. Pass to Sharich. And Sharich throws it down. Oh, just an artful little reverse slam. Mm, power and style. That was sweet. Right side white. The three is up. And Aiden pulls it down. Shamit into the lane. Oh, shit. Let's it go from 14. Yes. Oh, and it's Paul with the assist that time. Oh, and the Suns shit. lead by 13. Smart outside. Outside white. To the right side. Tatum from long range. And he's 6 for 12 after that one. This guy is a sensational shooter. It doesn't take a lot of separation for Jason Tatum to put it in the basket. And the clock will wind down on this one. Just a solid effort and a good win for the Suns. I think it was their play in the paint that got them the win tonight. And the defense seemed powerless to stop them down low, resulting in plenty of high percentage shots for them. And one of the league's superstars, producing as he always does. What a terrific game for Devin Booker. But forget about his stats for a second, right? What impressed me most was his stamina. It seemed like he was involved in every play. And with that kind of activity, I don't know how you don't wear down. Tatum can't hit. Here's Paul. He got a piece of it. 
I'll tell you, don't forget about Marcus Smart's vertical. Twice on the pipes rejects Ready. that shot. Oh, what a performance tonight. Getting a win like this on the road is such a boost. You've got to be able to block out all distractions in enemy territory. This team did a tremendous job staying focused on the task at hand. With the drive, uses the glass right. to finish the layup. Oh. Showing us that killer instinct right now. No letting the foot off the gas for them. And you want to save your best for last. Tonight, they've done that and then some. Oh, man. So no problem for Phoenix as they get the win. It ends up being a fairly easy road win. Those are so hard to come by. It's never easy. This nigga crying and shit. Zion, come here, man. Zion, come here. Come here. God damn.